Hello kids, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to do a side angle on a your morph edit. I'm so sorry that it took so long for me to upload a new video. I've been so busy with like new drama that was coming up at my face and I'm just like chill like can I can you just leave me alone? Okay, so what you need is it's really simple this is gonna be a short tutorial because I'm not gonna like fully like edit the whole thing I'm just gonna quickly go edit my Abby's face and everything and then I'm gonna go switch the and then I'm gonna come back to the part where I show you how to just um, have your Abby on nicely on your edit when it's the, when it's to the side so you want to take your Abby's picture looking like this so the jawline shows and everything I'm gonna just show you how to put your Abby's head on let me just like erase all these bits you don't need to need in this picture right now so just like nicely cut that out you just want to carefully get your head on aligned with the picture Okay, so I'm done editing my Avi's face. I did it on Procreate. I'm going to post it maybe if it looks nice to me. Right now it doesn't because I rushed it and I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, when you're doing your side angle, make sure you outline your jawline from the neck. So like I always say in all my Avi's paint videos, I, um, you got to eye drop your Avi skin and then start outlining and coloring in the real life picture why did I just make why did I make a new layer I'm all over the place because I've not been on IBS paint in ages so I'm so sorry just do a little outline under under it I'm gonna show you after I've done that how to do that little shadow at the bottom if your picture has one under the jawline and to follow along I am gonna post this picture that I'm using in the video Oh yeah, so after outlining your layer that you're using to colour in your Avi skin, I mean the real life picture, has to be under that outline layer so you can, so you're not going over it. I should have done an outline right there on the shoulders. Oh, and I know I posted a different picture because I actually thought I would do that one but someone sent me this one and it was like a really good example and at the last minute I saw the comments how you wanted a side angled morph tutorial and that one seemed way better than the one I was going to do I was going to do like another updated morph tutorial but this one was way more better because I already have an updated morph tutorial on IBS Paint and it, it it wasn't going to be different.
when you're done you can start lower lowering the opacity down just a little bit and sometimes I don't always get the outline right so because um I miss some areas I was supposed to get like right there but it's okay we can fix that okay so we're going to use multiply again and we're just going to keep creating a dark shadow underneath this and we're going to go to brightness and put it all the way down we actually should have gone on monocolor that one would have been way better and then we're gonna put the opacity down and then we're gonna go and multiply again okay i think it looks fine so let me just fix the neck up I'm gonna use the eraser and go on the airbrush and just create a fade here. go back and forth because there are places I didn't get just lowering the opacity on the little lines that I made at the side okay so that's it for this tutorial I hope that helped this was this is the easiest way you can do it simple it's really easy just keep practicing on the same picture or whatever picture that looks easy to you to use that has this type of angle and make sure to try and get the ones that have got like shadows like this so you can keep practicing how you do those and and you can become a pro and as you can see i did struggle so not everything looks easy for me to do and also showing you that i am not a professional so yeah i'm still learning but yeah i hope that helped and i'll see you in my next video Thank you.